Hello everyone, it's me, Zell, and we are here continuing our watch through of Tales of the Jedi, episode four today, and the Sith Lord thinks that gives it away. We're probably gonna have another Dooku episode and probably going to lead to his leaving the Jedi Order to become a little bit more sinister. If you could call it that, Dooku's obviously a complex individual that's not like your typical Sith Lord that wants all the power and rage and anger. It's a different sort of like frustration and done with all the BS of the government, which can't blame you, bud. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm ready to see what they're gonna do to wrap up uh, Dooku's story on in the Tales of Jedi's. And it looks like we're gonna see a little bit of Yaddle, which don't know a lot about her, obviously aware of her because she's another Yoda species, have you, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. Archive memory access. Please enter security clearance code subject, Master Cyphodia. Oh. Camino. Oh. Camino. Location deleted. Sneaky, Camino. sneaky, sneaky. Archive data deleted. Why gone? Yes. It would seem he has encountered a Sith Lord. Or so he claimed to the Jedi High Council. Oh, Who this is like this during encounter? the Phantom Menace. Tatooine? Qui-Gon Jinn always had such an active imagination, as did you, Dooku. A quality uh -oh. valued less and less in these great halls. This de oh, there's Qui-Gon. Oh, he's all grown up. And there's Yaddle. I guess word travels fast. Well, your statements to the council were rather... Surprising. I encountered a highly skilled warrior, one obviously trained in the Jedi arts. And you believe it was a Sith Lord? Speaking yes. Speaking on behalf of the Council, there's no reason to cause undue alarm. So you doubt his claim? The wisdom of the Council is to be cautious until we know more. Master Yaddle is right about one thing. A Sith Lord is not to be trifled with. Mm. And I will not be there to protect you, my old Padawan. Obi-Wan fills that role now. Aww. He acquits himself quite well. That's good. Are we gonna see? I should like to meet him someday. They grow up so fast. Our students. Yes. It is mm. the way of things. I Aww. must take my leave. She senses something. Do you think, do you think uh, Dooku's jealous of this mysterious Sith Lord, AKA Maul? I love it, I love the tree. Oh, here we, here we are. Isn't that where we saw in the, doesn't he talk to Yoda here? All right, or I guess Seattle. I was fascinated with this tree. Having been born here on Coruscant, a planet of steel and stone. I know. He knew nothing the council is leaving for Naboo. The funeral is to be held there. Oh. Fast forward oh, and Qui-Gon died. Qui-Gon Jinn has become one with the Force. Oh, he's sad. Which is an interesting dynamic that the Sith Lord... That Darth Maul is the one that was the one that defeated his apprentice. Oh, she's following him. She's curious. Sneaky, sneaky. Nice thing about having a small ship. Oh, no. You've gone too far. I don't know what you mean. Qui-Gon Jinn. You allowed Maul to kill him. You lost an apprentice, and so did I. There's confliction. The There's guarantee confliction. will not be remade without sacrifice. I have done everything you asked. And I will ask more of you 
If we are to succeed... Try for Diaz, Camino, the clones. I have betrayed everyone and everything I know. No! <gasps> Yaddle! This ends here. So I have been betrayed. No! You know. That does not matter. Oh. Don't believe her. The Jedi blindly serve a corrupt Senate that fails the Republic it represents. Kill her. Oh no! Oh no! There is still a chance to make things right. Yaddle. I'm afraid it is too late. No. Look at her go! You were right about so many things. The council should have listened. Mm. Qui-Gon did not have to die. Oh no, don't. I hate Palpatine. Please get out of there. Running back to your council. Such a good fight, oh my gosh. He's so broken. Palpatine Rise, breaks people. My friend, master. Ah, uh, it's fake. Yes, Yaddle. The power of the light compels you. Why can't you roll backwards? Why? I want only to bring peace and order to the galaxy. Already so it sounds like Alcanakin. Let me give you peace, Master Yaddle. No. What have you become? Ugh. We need to rip that grin right off of Palpatine. Ugh. So frustrating. He takes advantage of people's fears. And he took advantage of Dooku's fear of the corruption becoming overwhelming and destroying the people of the Republic. He took advantage of Anakin's fear of losing Padme and all that he cares for and loves. He just is a piece of... Anyways, a... he is exactly as you would expect a villain would be and again he is Dooku had a lot of like along the way regrets about it I can't believe he killed Yaddle and I'm also like why couldn't you roll on the other side and like GTFO let them know about he's talked about the clones of Kamino he talked about he's a Sith Lord working with this dark mysterious Lord and he said like Darth Maul, like all that information would have been great, but she was in the moment with her heart trying to change and save Dooku. She was trying to, I think even in that last moment, she was lying there vulnerable and trying to get through to him, hoping something would change. And she made that sacrifice and that risk. And unfortunately it didn't save her. Very heartbreaking. Makes me love her. I'd love to see more. And th there we have it. This is the Sudoku story. And it does make me like him more, even though I'm also heartbroken. I mean, but it's the same similar journey as Anakin, right? It's someone trying to mean well with your objective, but then you get corrupted along the way. You become the very thing you were swore to destroy. <laughs> Quote, Obi-Wan. Like, that's the whole issue with it, right? They're trying to destroy this thing and they have to become it themselves and they still don't accomplish their goal. That's the point in the end, they still don't accomplish their goal. And while there is corruption and imperfection and faults on the Jedi Council and the Jedi on the Republic and whatnot, what have you, there are many people with a good, pure soul and heart and mind and they're trying to accomplish these goals. The point is you need to weed out and funnel these and remind people to not let that get out of hand. Somehow there needs, you know, the good will rise, but 
Anyways, I always believe in hope, which is lovely that Star Wars has that reminder, but another good episode, <laughs> heartbreaking, frustrating, um, tension building, um, really builds you to appreciate and like Yaddle. Like she freaking left the Jedi Council and she even told him like, I agree with you. I left because you're right. They shouldn't have, they should have listened. Qui-Gon didn't have to die. Like that's a big deal. Like she repeatedly was trying to get him to see reason, but Dooku felt it was too late. He was already in too deep. He gave up and sacrificed too much. And he felt like he's like, if I'm trying to accomplish my goals that I got to keep going. But that's the power of the corruption and manipulation of Palpatine, Darth, Sid Darth Sidious. He's just a really conniving, mischievous individual that knows what he's doing and gets, gets his way. So another good episode though. I appreciate it fighting scene really cool really well done love their music choice and the sound effects to exactly signify the emotion the symbolism with having this the two dark lords discussing in darkness and shadow and then yaddle you know rising open the window to try to show them the light and it still didn't work in the end but um it, beautiful kind of imagery there i appreciated Anyways, guys, thanks for being here and watching. I appreciate you being here. Um, if you want to show support and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, thumbs up, like in it and subscribe. If you're here and you're not subscribed, just push that button. I won't overwhelm you. I won't post a lot over overwhelming stuff. It'll just alert you when my videos go live. Um, so that's a great way to do that and show your support further uh and that's it that's all <laughs> thanks for watching and being here and i will see you on the next one